Right, right, right. That is so good. Wait. Left leg, somebody. Off box! Yeah! You're off box? Yeah. Go okay. Corner setup. Trigoon! Trigoon! Corner setup. Got this, Corner man! Corner setup. Okay, so now we can call it again. Alright. Okay, now we're just missing. We're missing something. Oh, we okay. the next match. I'm gonna go into commentary. Okay. Mega, I need Starting to off this match, we have. Tenkoth and his opponent, the Toon Link Casual. Here we go, starting off. Toon Link got some early damage. Tenkoth trying to find some openings. Suicider! Toon Link gets a grab. Mega Pod! Starting to use arrows. Kirby is, however, small enough they can duck under them. Gets a nice up smash. Toon Link recovers back to stage with a down air, threading the needle between the platforms. Now Kirby comes back in, punishes landing with the Nair. Here we go, Toon Link. Choosing to stay up on these platforms, making Kirby come to him. Kirby will come to him with an up air. And Toon Link seems to be on the run, runs in with an up smash. Here we go. It's a forward smash, Kirby's off stage. Arrow goes sailing well over his head, setting up Boomerang into Arrow. Gets an up smash too. And now we have a match on our hands. Kirby going off stage, now having difficulty getting back on himself. Does punish a dash attack with back air. Gets hit with the down air. Toon Link, nice dodge. Almost gets the trip into forward smash. Not quite, though. Toon Link just a little too high percent, a little too lightweight. Whatever it was, he slipped out of there. Now then, both at 105, this is getting close. Kirby could have almost done it with the throw. I don't think he would have quite killed yet. I am not sure on Kirby throws. All I know is that with the platforms, he's poised to kill earlier than normal. Whatever normal is. Oh, the wind box just saved Toon Link's life, but will not save him from the up throw. Kirby now does have the stock lead. That bubble is looking to pop at any moment. Tries for the inhale, gets a down smash, and we're even again. Kirby using his invincibility to tack on some damage. Still just pressuring this Toon Link very well. Bit of a shield stalemate. Kirby not really wanting to come down on someone with as many anti airs as Toon Link. Kirby does seem to be doing very well, gets the down air. Toon Link barely makes it back. Nice punish on Kirby's recovery. Who is this against? Ten uh, this is 10 and casual number one, two, three, four, five. Okay. When he signed up, he just wanted us to add random numbers to the end. Wow. Oh, and the stage that spike. Was good that was a nice edge guard. That was game one, right? That was game one. Here we go, let's see what the picks and bands are. The band is a duck hunt, very casually. That makes sense. Two Link does really well on big stages that left off. Yes. Uh, if he's chic, he's probably thinking Smashville or Town. Oh, or, he did switch over to Sheik. Nice catch. Okay, he's he going to Omega. Omega. Okay. And we're Street Fighter now. Despite the number of Shoryukens in this game, neither of the present characters possess one. Kirby gets the first grab to start this off, gets another grab. Combos it into a forward air, almost gets a third grab. Sheik dodge rolling, catching on. So I'm not sure why the Sheik has opted to go side B twice now, but as Sheik, you have the mobility and frame data to just wall out your opponents really hard. Mm. And Kirby's a character that has a hard time responding to like good walls. Yes. Because his only mm. out of shield option is bear. So yeah. But okay. even then, like Sheik's fast enough to just avoid it. Mm -hmm. So he should just be pressuring. Plus, um, Bear can probably be crouched under, and only really is applicable if Kirby is on the opposite side of you when he comes out of shield, or if you're on the other side of Kirby. Excuse me. 
So yeah, like this chief is playing really, really committal. Yes. Like a lot of the things he's doing, she's committing a lot. Down smash, F smash. And Kirby is very on top of not getting hit by them and responding accordingly. Exactly. And accordingly is piling on the damage. Oh. Wow. Okay. Comes back onto stage with the final cutter. It's a forward smash that does kill. Because he air dodged at the end. He would have lived if he didn't air dodge. But um, yeah, this Sheik needs to reevaluate her game plan. She's playing way too aggro. Yeah. She's, she's getting hit. I don't think it's too aggro. I think it's just not smart aggro. Well, I mean, there is like, there is like smart aggressive. I, I just use the term too aggro. Yeah. Definitely over committing a lot. Yeah. And Ten recognizes that at this point. Knowing Ten that he's opts to go with the needles. Let's talk about that. Why might he want needles over his inhale ability? Hmm? Ten opts to grab the needles instead of exhaling. Why might a Kirby want those? Well, because needles is one of the best projectiles in the game, so why wouldn't you want to have them? Sure is, I guess. Ooh. Okay, so yellow side be works. Okay, but yep. still punishable. I wouldn't be getting over a line on those things, but it did secure a kill just now. Spot oh. dodges the grab, gets an up tilt, doesn't get much more off of it. Sheik's kind of a too high of a percent for Kirby to follow up with much stuff. Here we go. Sheik rolls behind, down smash. Kirby ducking under needles. Cannot dunk under dash attack. Dash attack beats out Kirby's inhale. Kirby flying over the grenade, getting him up smash. It's putting Sheik at death's door. Not quite there yet. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Here we go. And punishes Genesis the vanish with the forward smash. There we go. Ten cops takes the game. Best of all rank. Best of all rank. Um, play on the new open server.